This video production is intended as a brief overview of the accomplishments of the Polar Express in the course of her 1988 Western Pacific and Indian Oceans deployment. Roanoke left her home port of Long Beach, California, June 15th and headed on a northwesterly bearing that would take her through the Aleutian Islands to Adak, Alaska. Fighting sometimes freezing conditions, her crew successfully met all of her UNREP and VERT rep obligations and also conducted the first airhead of the deployment. In less time than was expected, her crew brought on board the mail and supplies that would carry Battle Group Charlie southward along the coast of the Soviet Union and through the Sea of Japan to Subic Bay, Republic of the Philippines. Although Subic is famous for its liberty, the volcanic paradise was a working port for the crew of the Polar Express. Because of a rapidly changing schedule, Roanoke had left Long Beach with ordnance intended for a battleship battle group. Her crew had four days in which to offload the battleship ammunition, onload ammo for a carrier battle group, and bring aboard supplies for an extended stay in the Indian Ocean. After a brief liberty stop in Singapore, Roanoke made for the North Arabian Sea, where she was to become intimately familiar with, with the waters and anchorage off the coast of Masira, Oman. During her three months of operations in the North Arabian Sea, Roanoke was to perform 22 airheads. Her cargo helicopters ferried untold loads of cargo and mail from the C-141s at the airbase to the Roanoke waiting offshore. Once the cargo was stowed, Roanoke was underway, headed for her rendezvous with the battle group ships on station. Twice, Roanoke's mission brought the all-capability oiler into the Straits of Hormuz to replenish the combatants patrolling the area. After 83 consecutive days at sea and a tricky boy mooring upriver, Roanoke's crew finally set foot on dry land in Mombasa, Kenya. Though in port, there was still little break in Roanoke's support of the battle group. While there, her air crews completed two airhead operations and ferried foreign dignitaries between the Carl Vinson and the shore. Her crew proved that Roanoke services go beyond the basic food, fuel, and firepower when they put together a country and western band to perform at the reception at the U.S. Consulate in Mombasa. After one more airhead in Masira, Roanoke and Battle Group Charlie said farewell to the Indian Ocean as they entered the Straits of Malacca. As Roanoke made her way eastward, she paused for a well-deserved liberty call in Pattaya Beach, Thailand. After Pattaya, Roanoke braved the remains of Typhoon Skip, who frequently sent swells crashing over her forecastle as she cut her way to the next port, Hong Kong. Of all the ships in Battle Group Charlie, Roanoke's crew alone has nearly completed the deployment without one Liberty incident ashore. During their second stop to the Philippines, Roanoke spent two days successfully offloading carrier ammunition and onloading ordnance to be transferred stateside before departing for Pearl Harbor. In the course of her six-month deployment, Roanoke has conducted nearly 150 underway replenishment operations and pumped almost 15 million gallons of jet and diesel fuel. In addition, she has steamed almost 40,000 nautical miles, conducted 25 airhead operations, and transferred more than 650 personnel in support of Battle Group Charlie. The Polar Express is proud to have completed 100% of her operational commitments during her 1988 Western Pacific and Indian Oceans deployment. As her crew looks forward to being reunited with family and friends, they can look back with pride over the past six months of dedication and hard work in support of Battle Group Charlie and in support of the mission of the United States Navy.